North Carolina, same storm. I mean, we're just getting, really? yeah, it's just a big storm that's kind of whirling around the middle part of the country, and we're getting the gusty northeast winds and the clouds and rain yesterday, and now some scattered showers out over the lake. In fact, take a look at the temperatures this morning. Not as cold as they had been the past couple mornings. There were no low to mid 40s because of two things. We had some clouds roll in here last night and that northeasterly breeze also very gusty. Even overnight, it was gusting to around 30 miles per hour. Fair weather cumulus clouds rolling in. Some of these might get just big enough to squeeze out a sprinkle or two, uh, mainly near the lakefront and into the south of Milwaukee. Those would be the two best places to see it. It's 64 degrees, almost normal, which is about 66, and it is still windy as that storm system is off to the east of us. The current winds out of the north and northeast between 25 and about 35 miles per hour. It's going to remain windy throughout the evening. So this is the storm system. The low pressure that was, remember, two days ago up in northern Wisconsin tracked over us, and now it is moving uh, into the Ohio Valley, bringing the flooding rains to uh, the other side of the storm system. We're getting these bands of rain coming around it, and it's getting closer to the state line. You're getting very close to the, around the Kenosha and Pleasant Prairie area, and that would be the best chance of seeing some rain this afternoon. Only then, just a slight chance. Uh, temperatures in the low to mid-60s around Milwaukee County, the wind being the issue. Look at the wind currently in Waukesha. That's sustained at 23. The temperature at the airport of 64 in Waukesha, 64 in Heartland, 63 in North Prairie, and 64 in Maguanago. This afternoon, temperatures will jump up a couple of more degrees. Upper 60s, maybe, just maybe hitting 70 out towards Oconom, Walker, Dousman. The wind is the issue today, and just a few of those clouds rolling overhead. So, the future forecast. As we go into the evening hours, you're going to watch those clouds start to move in. Once again, here's around 6.30 this evening. You're seeing these few scattered rain showers from Wind Point to Racine down towards Kenosha. Very isolated, but that would be the best chance here locally. Then overnight tonight, the clouds increase. So does a chance of rain, about a 30 to 40 percent chance overnight. Very hit and miss. Not everyone sees them. And notice the wind still gusty out of the northeast at 15 to 25. On and off again, rain showers tomorrow. Very windy, cloudy, and chilly. Not a pretty Friday. And then Friday night into Saturday, more rain, probably the heaviest and best chance of rain we'll see around here the next couple of days, pushes through, and then we'll just have these sporadic little rain showers off and on during the day on Saturday. Nothing to be too concerned about, more of a nuisance than anything else. They won't drop much in the way of rain, but they will have some, obviously, drizzle and some sprinkles with them. Temperatures tonight remaining in the upper 50s to around 60 degrees, and then tomorrow, still windy, northeast winds at 15 to 25, and your temperatures tomorrow for highs, upper 50s to lower 60s going to be a chilly one, especially with the rain and the blustery winds. 66 today, 62 tomorrow, 63 on Saturday with just a few afternoon showers. The best chance of rain uh, would be tomorrow afternoon and then tomorrow night. 66 on Sunday with more sunshine. And then next week right now looks to be great. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. If you have time to take off, do so. It's going to be near 70 degrees with low humidity.